good evening. We are now in day 26 on the journey to become wealthy. Good evening. I know normally I go live, but um, I'm doing a screen recording tonight. But we still going to get get this news and see what we can find, right? So we're going to check it. Start with our futures. See what we got. So it looks we're going to check up here too. So it looks like our Dow is up 0.98%. The S&P 500 is up 1.38%, and the NASDAQ is up 1.39%. So, I know looking here is showing red, and I'm not certain why. Again, we've been seeing that throughout the week, just kind of some discrepancies, but this over here seems to be the accurate live data. The accurate live data. So, let's scroll down, see what, if we had any pre-market movers. Okay, I don't see anything major. I don't see anything major or anything that we've been looking into. No, I see General Mills up 1.27%, but that's nothing major. So for the Hang Seng, it looks like it's actually down on today. 0.06%, 0.06% is down. That's not a major move. It seems like everything's still pretty much flat on the day. So let's check out our Russell 2000 since we know it's another one of our market futures that's kind of newer and it is up 0.89% on the day. So again, another flat one, pretty flat, nothing major. So let's see if we can go and find any news. Um, I know all the markets are up today. The Saturn rally didn't really look too heavy, at least not as far as my portfolio, but I know other others who made quite a bit of money on today. They have stocks that kind of, I guess, put boosted them and pushed them forward. So let's see. S&P 500 hits another record high. That's here. Stock market news live updates features open flat. Yeah, I see my account being pretty flat on the Santa rally. Let's hope tomorrow is a, a, another boost. The aftermarket, I actually see things going down. Crypto is going down in the aftermarket as of right now. S&P 500 closed that record. Dow as 350 points as investors look for center rally. So, yeah, this news like this that we want to see. Dow Jones Futures, Tesla Tops, new buy point, five top stocks to buy and watch. So, let's see what they're talking about. Five top stocks to buy and watch. We already know Tesla been a buy for us. It's, it's a you know big deal. However, it's ran up, and we're going to wait for it to cool back off. I know Apple did good on today. Adobe did good on today. And another one I'm going to put on y'all watch list is SoFi. S-O-F-I. SoFi. This, this seems to have some pretty good fundamentals. It is a fintech company, a financial financials company. So it seems pretty good. Y'all do, we can do research on that. It's pretty good. One of the Jones leader, Apple, Microsoft, Home Depot, Tesla, Vivian. I was in Rivian. I actually got out of it once it started coming back down. I know it just IPO'd a few weeks ago. I made profits on it a couple times just on day trades and got out. It looks like it's running back up. Tesla ran back up. These are different EV companies. Let's see. Yeah, so it looks like quite a few things are in here. Looking pretty good that we can check out. We can look into actually adding some of these to portfolio, but Apple for sure, we know we got in here. We just made a little money on it. Not too much, but we in here. Now let's see. What's next? Let's check out our stock heat map. Stock heat map. Stock heat map actually shows what we're saying. Pretty much green. Everywhere is green. I guess majority of it is pretty flat. No, no major pops. NVIDIA made a good pop at 4.4% right here, if you guys see that. But 4.4%, if you guys see that. But that's about it. Um, I don't see any other really big pops. Let's see what Facebook did. Facebook was up 3.26%. Facebook has, looks like it's been making a, a good move on the, on the symbols. So on the charts, Facebook charts have been moving pretty good. It may be something we need to look into getting into. I need to do my evaluations on it myself. Just technical analysis and see how well it's going to do. With the prediction on it is again right now with prices already being determined to move up this week we kind of want to make sure we buy again buying low and selling high so if you are buying this week you risk buying it at the top and catching it coming back down so be sure to average down in your plays if you do buy them at the while they high this week so don't don't go all in especially if you do your technical analysis and you see this these are not good entry prices but 
I mean, look at Apple up 2.3%, back up to that $180 range, I believe, $180.33. So it's doing pretty good. It's got several in here that's doing pretty good, but all the sectors did well today, it looks like, except consumer cyclical. The major companies like Amazon and Baba actually did pretty bad. Let's see what JD is, yeah. Amazon and Baba did pretty bad. JD is JD.com. I'm not certain what that is, but it could be something to look at. So, yeah, looks like most sectors did well on today. Most sectors did well on today. Biotech did not do well in healthcare, but pretty much everything else did pretty good. I want to check out our crypto heat map. And as I told y'all, I did see cryptos coming down. We know on last night and earlier this week, Bitcoin was up as far as $51,000. It has come down 3.74% as of right now. So it's at $49,000. So, I mean, you could have sold it and bought back in. You know, you could be swing trading this joke if you guys want to. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I got my position established and I'm holding. I want to see this joke run back up to 60000 maybe. And then I'm going to sell and wait for it to come back down and I'll buy more. <laughs> But that's that's how I'm playing it, Bitcoin and Ethereum. So Binance is down just a little bit. I actually do not have a position in Binance, but I think I'm going to consider getting in there. I'm going to consider getting into Binance. Solano, Luna is back down to $92. Terra Luna is coming. We checked out. We looked at it at $88. We were talking about getting it. I think I put $100 in at $88. So as of right now, everything is down. And I think my next one to be looking at, getting into, is probably going to be Binance, BNB. I'm pretty much in several of these already, but yeah, I think Binance is going to be my next one to kind of look into. <laughs> yep. I do not have any other recommendations as of right now, but I will be looking into some for us for tomorrow. So far, being one of the ones that I'm liking, I'm, I'm currently in it. I didn't recommend it to you guys before, but so far it's currently going to be one that I'm trying to get into and probably get you guys into. I think it's going, I think it's on its way up back into the twenties. It's currently sitting in the fifteens, so we'll check that out some more. See what the RSI really quick. So let's see so far. And like I said, I already have position in it. Current RSI is at forty two between thirty and fifty is good. The current price is fifteen thirty nine. See what the 100 day moving average is for it. Check that out. 100 day moving average for it is 1731. So people were willing to buy it currently for the past 100 days at 1731. And it has gotten as high as $22, $24 actually. So I think this is going to be a good buy. I'm going to be looking at adding more of this tomorrow or maybe doing a, a um, uh, options call on it to see if we can make any some big profits uh, and let's see let's actually see let's see about um stock price prediction so far price prediction oh, and i'm pretty sure we've done this already but i want to make sure Yeah, so far price prediction. Looks here, it says the median target of $24 with a high estimate of 30 and a low of 19. So it's definitely undervalued as of right now. Definitely undervalued as of right now. Median of 24, high of 30. So that's what I have. That's what we're going to look forward to for tomorrow. Um, we're going to predict another green day or pretty flat with, with the exception of crypto coming down. So other than that, I think that's all we got. We see the Dow is up. We see the S&P 500 is up and the NASDAQ is up along with the Russell. So hopefully with that news, we'll continue to more, see some more green days the rest of this week and we'll make some money. Y'all have a good day.